Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. Wanted to give you the update for the large grow tent. And uh, just wanted to say, last week uh, we had our just the one video of our dog PJ that we had to put down. Uh, he had gotten pretty, uh, pretty uh, in pain, I guess you could say. Pretty much he was, you know, at that stage where, you know, at 15 and a half years he got a little older. And uh, I wanted to only have that video up just as a show of respect to a great member of our family that we had had for uh, 15 and a half years. But uh, we're all back, you know, good. Everybody's fine now. Uh, he's in a better place. And I uh, wanted to get you guys caught up on the videos that uh, I didn't put up last week. So let me grab the goggles, put those on, and I'll show you what's going on in the big tent. And if you're kind of wondering, I'm a, I'm a little bit wet today because uh, I've been outside, as you saw in the other video, uh, rebuilding the lower deck garden boxes because uh, one of them had a little uh, bit of a blowout because of the amount of rain we've had. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here's the uh, the red Russian kale. It is doing really good. I mean, we've harvested off this uh, last week. We had a couple meals off of this, and it's already regrown. The uh, the plant is. The, the, I love this stuff. I mean, it's so nutritious, and uh, it's got a really nice taste. And you can see the uh, the spinach is doing pretty well back there. We didn't have quite as much germination as I expected for these plants, but you can see there's a, there's quite a few that came up, and there's a quite a few big leaves back there, so we're going to harvest off some of that probably this week, and uh, maybe put that in a little bit of a stir-fry. We've got our tomatoes up here, so we've got the, uh, these were the uh, pink boar, and we've got those put into pots now, and they're doing really well. I've done a foliar feed on those uh, twice already. They seem to really like it in here. So they've gotten pretty big, and then of course we've got the uh, the various. I can't remember which ones these were. They're so big. I think these were the most bitch, and the uh, which one was that? I can't even see the tag anymore. But I've been filled air feeding those, and you can see they're really, really green, really healthy. Uh, they're going to be going outside in another month, and so keeping this light at this level where it's at now is keeping these guys pretty stocky. And that's what I like to have. I like to have nice stocky plants instead of leggy plants. That gives them a lot of thick girth and growth on their, uh, their stalks here. So they're, they're looking really well. And down here, these were the first ones we transplanted in here. And these are the uh, Montesinos. These are the grape tomatoes. You can see how tall they've gotten. And I did have to take one of the lights out of here is one of these uh, these new daylighter clear ones. The, half of the LEDs blew out on it, and one of the little uh, the little diodes that feeds it's kind of like in series. One of the diodes blew out, and then one of the uh, it's a resistor diode. One of the LEDs blew out, and so there's basically no current going through that. So what I had to do is I took that up in the garage, I popped it apart, and I resawed. I, I popped out that uh, diode and where we had the bad LED, and I just put a jumper wire across it. So now it's feeding through that circuit still. And uh, so that should be put back in here and get it regrowing, because you can tell without that light in here, they're starting to lean a little bit that direction towards the bright light. So, but they'll be doing, uh, they're doing great. I mean, I've been foliar feeding those and they're really green, keeping them watered and uh, not too much water. You don't want to ever overwater your tomato plants. It's better to have them droop and then water them instead of just keeping their roots wet because that'll really hamper their growth. But uh, let's see, we've also got the eggplants back there. You can see they're doing really well. I've been foliar feeding those and they've got their, you know, big full leaves on them. And even the newer ones down here, the little guys in the middle there, they were the late starts. They're starting to put on some bigger leaves. I've been foliar feeding all of those. There's that tomato plant that I, uh, the sucker that I had taken off the one plant that was a pop-up that I'll show you in a minute. And it's already, you know, five inches tall. And it's got some nice growth on it. And then here's the, uh, the tomato plant we took out of the salad bar LED area. It's doing pretty well. Got a lot of nice growth. I've been foliar feeding it as well. And so it's, it's nice and healthy looking. And then of course here's the uh, the original tomato plant. I mean this sucker is like four feet tall now. I mean it's just huge. You can see it's starting to put on flowers. And so I may keep this one inside the tent just because I want to see if I can actually get some uh, fruit production. I mean look at this. There's it's starting to open up its flowers right there. So maybe I'll get some fruit set in here. And then I can take that outside after we get our warmer weather so that way it's not going to hinder this plant and put it back into dormancy. Then we've got our kale over here. This is the uh, the Vates kale that I seeded, you know, not too long ago, and it's it's really taken off. 
it's going to be ready for its first harvest. I mean, this, this leaf right here, it's ready for harvest now. So, I mean, we've got some leaves that we could come through here and thin this out and harvest from, which we'll probably be doing this week as part of the, uh, the harvest on this one here. But uh, we came down here and I got, we had two meals off just this kale because I really had to thin this out because this, this one here is going crazy. I mean, it's got some really big bushy kale. And I think this one is going to be going up top soon and get transplanted outside. Once this one here is in full production, I'm going to take that one up to the garden boxes. So I've got two spaces available in that uh, lower deck garden box that I've set aside for either more kale or I'm going to take the chard from the, both of the chards from the indoor salad bar LED area. So we'll have to decide what we're going to do. But I think I'd rather have the chard out there instead of the kale because this kale really does supplement a lot of our meals. But who knows? I, you know, I go week, week to week, never know what I'm going to transfer outside. But uh, all right. Well, this has been Brian from PB Homesteading. Hope you guys had a great weekend. It was really wet here. But uh, I hope you guys had uh, some fun outdoors. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.